Hello guys! Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing my very first craft review. It is silk painting by the brand Dejecto. It's ages 8 to 14, so I'm still in that category. Um, struggling. There's like plastic on it, but it's not like, I don't want to damage the box. This box is quality, quality box here. Okay, go away. Bum, 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 bum. It's not opening. Whoa, that's cool. It's like a cool box. That's why I didn't want to damage the box. I don't want to damage the box. Okay. It's cool. It kind of looks like nail polish bottles. That's like not a lot of paint at all. Okay. Okay, here's the silk. It feels really weird. I guess that's what silk feels like. It's big. <laughs> There's some pin things. The brush, the paint. Hi. <laughs> oh, okay, it's just like a pattern. Do I have to paint it like that? What if I want to do it my own way? I probably will make it look very similar anyway. Silk painting instructions. Wow, I didn't realize. Caution, use under adult supervision. Okay. Gutta, 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 gutta? Gutta. I don't know what that means. I th what? Ugh. You have to hair dry it for 10 minutes? <laughs> I'm just gonna get right into this and just try to start painting. So, let go. So let's just jump right into this kit. And first off, just admire the box. Like, honestly, I think I could use this for something else. So props for that. I mean, that's a good thing, but you know, that won't last. The instructions tell you to pin down the silk onto the box, but unfortunately, the silk is too small for the box. So even after stretching out the silk, and trying different techniques, it would not work. I tried to put these rocks in, but they ended up just creating a bumpy surface, so I decided the bowing box situation was better than a bumpy painting surface, so I had to just go with it. Now, the paints, the paints were actually good. They were nice colors, red, pink, green, blue, orange. I would have liked to see some yellow maybe, but that's just a little picky thing from someone who loves color. So just starting off with this pink and getting rid of this nasty little plastic here. And let's begin. So I didn't really know what I was doing at this point at all. So I was just kind of doing a random design, just kind of figuring it out as I went, doing every other with the top of the butterfly wing yes wing and i have to say the pink looks a lot like a lot better in the bottle than it does on the canvas or silk scarf whatever so i was a little disappointed by that it kind of looks like brown disgusting and i was starting to worry i didn't really know if i was laying the paint on too thick is it me? Am I doing something wrong? Or is it just the kit? Wait, I thought I said I was doing every other. Why are there two butterflies in the middle? Oh, that's annoying. So we're just filling in the lines and the paint worked pretty well with the gutta. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Remember that? Yeah, that thing I was talking about. I think it's gotta. Dang it! Now I can't remember. Gotta, 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 gotta. I think it's gotta. I can't really remember. Okay, we're not doing that again. Well, we kind of just did, but anyway, the gotta is basically the lines. It's some fancy thing that I don't really understand, but it kind of repels the paint, so you can just paint right over the lines, and the lines will come through the paint, and you don't really have to be all that careful. You also don't have to paint to the complete edge of the flower because the paint will spread out for you. So on this side, I tried to use a little bit more paint, as you can see, just trying to glob it on. The gutta works pretty well unless you use too much paint, then especially on the flowers and the things with the smaller details, it kind of covers up the gutta. So you have to be careful. You need to use the perfect amount of paint. But if you use not enough paint, then the paint will look disgusting. That weird brown color that we saw earlier, yeah, not pretty. But if you use too much paint, then the paint gets all weird and it goes over the gutta and just creates a big mess. So you have to find the perfect balance, which definitely took a while. But I think I have to say it's looking a lot better. The butterflies on this right side look a lot better than the butterflies on the left side. So just going in, why am I stopped? Okay, <laughs> stretching out the fabric. What is the point of that? I'm just getting all these other flowers. And as you can see, I used too much paint here and I'm covering the gutta. Now we are painting the third flower on the right side. That sounds like an address. Go to the third flower on the right side and you will find paint. Oh, see these butterflies? Yeah. I just fixed them up and for some reason decided to just show you the cap of the red paint. I don't I don't know what that was about. Mm, yeah. Anyway, like I said earlier, did I say it earlier? Hmm, I don't I don't remember. I am doing in every other pattern and now I'm painting every other top of the butterfly wing. Do butterfly wings really have that? I don't think they're separated like that. Why are they always separated like that in cartoon pictures? I have no idea. But I'm painting the top part of the butterfly with red, so it's the opposite of the pink ones, which they look very similar. Oh, here's where I realized that I completely painted that wrong. But instead of trying to cover up the pink with the red, I just decided to go with it and just try to work with it. I decided there would be so much else going on with this scarf that I wouldn't really have to worry about that. I don't know. It still kind of bothers me a little bit, but I, th I think I can get over it eventually. So these random butterflies out here in the middle of nowhere, yeah, the ones that aren't in line with the rest of them, what are they doing out there? Why do they get to fly through the flowers when the other ones just stand in line and look nice? I couldn't really decide what to paint them because they were kind of in between the red and the pink, so I couldn't decide if they should be red or pink. So I kind of just chose the red because I like the red better. <laughs> Sorry, pink. And now I'm just filling in all the little dots. So the dots are also opposite. So there's red dots on the pink butterflies and pink dots on the red butterflies. Ooh, that was a spoiler. But you know, I think you kind of saw that coming. I think I like the strawberries so much because of the red. I mean, the red is just such a nice vibrant color, especially compared to the pink. The pink is just looking atrocious right now. So just filling in those strawberries. And now, finally, we are painting the top wing part. See, I'm starting to paint outside of the lines there, <laughs> getting a little bit more messy painting. Closer to the goo, goo, god uh, dang it, god I gotta say it again. Oh, now we're painting the center of the flowers, which I kind of just globbed, oh my gosh, my headphone fell again. It's kind of just globbing paint on top. Oh, why am I not finishing it? Okay, there we go, finally finishing the center of the flowers and green time. So this green was not my favorite color. Oh, and I got red in it, so now I need to stop. Please stop and fix it. Fix it. Okay, whatever. Guess I'm not gonna fix it. It's looking a little bad. Please get the red out of it. My goodness, when am I going to realize that? 
Okay, finally. Fixing that now. And it looks like I was too lazy to go get up and wash it. But now we are continuing on with the leaves and the stems. And the stems, I have to say, are definitely a struggle because I had already painted so much inside the lines. I was getting a little tired of painting in the inside of the lines. Deviate, you know what I mean? Oh, looks like the red didn't completely come off. But nope, I'm not going to get up and go rinse it off because, you know, that probably would have saved time at this point. And, like I said, this was kind of a while into this process, so the stems are looking like a hot mess. I finished painting up all of the leaves, the stems, green things. Not all the green things, as you can see, because I'm painting the bottom of the butterfly. Dang it! I did it again! I'm painting the bottom of the butterfly. Which color is that? I'm painting the bottom of the pink. Pink butterfly, yes. I'm painting the bottom of the pink butterfly. Oh, I just painted the bottom of the red one. Okay. Looks like I was confused while I was painting it, too. Some things don't change. Wait till the end to see what color I paint the bottom of the red butterfly. Ooh, mystery surprise. Now we're just starting on the right side. I feel like I can't say right and left, though, because later you're going to see me flop it around and then all the sides are going to be mixed up. So I finished up all the bottom bottom wing bottom wing yeah sure bottom wing on the right side i'm just gonna say right side it's easier whatever and now i'm painting the bottom of the left side so the red butterflies have an orange bottom yay mystery surprise all right you shocked probably not because that was really the only color left except for blue but blue is the background color oh wow another spoiler hmm. I'm actually really regretting painting the bottom of the red butterfly orange because the red and the orange are so similar, but it was kind of too late at this point. Actually, it was definitely, most definitely, way too late to change that at this point. So we're just gonna have to go with it. And it looks like I found all these other butterflies just flying out in the middle of the field. You know who I'm talking about, the ones I was ranting about earlier. Yeah, those. So it seems like I found a lot more of those, so we're going to have to get the red paint out again later. Spoiler alert. Because they're going to be me. Yes. Both the orange to make the flowers, because the pink was already some of the flowers, and the red was the strawberries. Blue is the background. Obviously, green is a no. So orange it is. There was already a lot of pink on it. And on the instructions, yes, I know earlier, I complained about having to follow the pattern they gave me. I'm painting these little leaves. I don't know what kind of flowers they are, but I think they're really pretty in orange. And it looks like I'm painting most of the flowers orange because, I don't know, I don't know why I did it. I just did. Sorry. So now I'm just painting the edges of these little flowers, I guess. The little, like, filler flowers. I alternated between orange and red, just kind of whichever color was not next to the other butterflies. It wasn't really, like, a big decision since they're kind of the same color anyway. So, a little bit of editing later. No, that was cheesy. Okay, sorry. I have finished up painting all of the flowers, the little flowers, the other flowers, the butterflies, all that stuff. And now I'm just going in with the blue background. Okay, so I know at the beginning I said I didn't want to copy theirs, but I mean, it did look pretty good. And honestly, it wasn't really that hard to copy because they kind of used the most obvious colors. And I wasn't all that crazy with this. I just kind of wanted a nice you know, normal scarf that anybody would wear. Yeah, it was already crazy enough, so I didn't want it to be too, too crazy. And as you can see, the blue color dries very green. You can see the blue next to the green and the extreme color difference there. Yeah, that's, mm-mm, no. I was expecting it to be more blue, I have to say. I really liked it at first, but, you know, the finished color isn't all that blue and vibrant. It's kind of just dark green. Well, remember how I was worried about running out of the light blue paint? 
Well, yeah, it happened. So that's why this watercolor palette thing is here. So, yeah, it, it, it was a good thought, I guess. I didn't, I had no idea what to do. And I knew that there was no way, no way. I was leaving a big, ugly white splotch in the middle, well, not the middle, the end of my beautifully made neck scarf, that's what they're called, yes, yes, scarf, I, I knew that. So I just tried to mix the green paint with blue and water, and <clears throat> yeah, it didn't really work, it didn't make the right shade, but I think it's less noticeable than just a plain white splotch. The instructions also tell you not to mix water with the paint, and they tell you to only use it on silk, and only use silk painting on silk. So, uh, yeah, I kind of broke the only two rules they gave you, but it was it was better than nothing. And even if I can't wash it, I still think it's better than nothing. Okay, so here comes my absolute least favorite part. You have to use the hair dryer to dry your scarf for approximately 10 minutes. I don't really know why I have the instructions there. They don't need to be there. I don't need instructions on how to turn on a blow dryer. I used the lowest setting because the instructions didn't really tell me. And I have to say, this was kind of an armor grab. I had to constantly switch arms because it was actually kind of, kind of tiring. Not gonna lie. Okay, so this is just a random thing. It had this annoying tag on it, so. I decided to cut that off, and yeah. So here is the finished product. I think it looks pretty good. After the hair drying, all the colors got much nicer in my opinion, especially the pink and the blue. Yeah, as you can see in that corner, it, it, it looks very different because, you know, I, it looked pretty similar while the paint was wet, but then when it dried, it got much different. I forgot to say this, but this kit is on Amazon. Um, I mean, I thought it was a pretty good kit. It was, it was a lot of fun. Um, it was kind of just a little relaxing thing that you could do. It doesn't take too much time. Downsides of it, I would have to say, um, they didn't give you enough blue paint. Well, not for me. So I guess if you do this kit, make sure not to use too much blue paint if you are using it for the the background color. I had plenty left of all the other colors, but the blue paint just wasn't enough for me. If you're doing this with an eight-year-old, you might want to help them with the pinning part. It was not that fun, and as you could see, it kind of like, it wouldn't stay open all the way. It's annoying, but that wasn't a make or break thing. So, Overall, I think this was a pretty fun kit. It was it was nice to just kind of relax and paint something different than a canvas. It's definitely something that I've never tried. It kind of looks just the same as like painting something fabric, but the texture is extremely different and it was it was a good experience. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.